Assam of 15-50 was partly linked at 5% and 8% per annum simple interest. Profit the CC of the TF of 300. Ratio of money lent at 5% to 8% is how much? Uh, the standard way of doing this question is to assume that the amount lent at 5% is X. So this should be 15, 15 minus X. Then you say X into 5 by 100 percent of it plus 8 by 100 into 15, 15 minus 8 is equal to 300. This is the standard way of doing this question. Okay. To find this value. Not incorrect, but it is possibly a little lengthy. You could look at using allegation out here in this question. Okay. What we are doing is we are mixing 5 percent rate of interest with 8 percent rate of interest and getting an average interest which is 300 on 1550. Okay. But that is for 3 years. So, so we find the rate of interest, substitute here and do the allegation out there. Okay. But what you find out here when you calculate the rate of interest 300 upon 1550, it is not an easy or it is not a straightforward number which is coming, it is making your calculation difficult. So in this question what my advice would be, what is it you will earn at 5%? At 5%, 1550, if the entire amount was lent at 5%, what is the interest you would have received? 10% is 155, 5% is 10% is 155, if 5% is equal to 77.5, so you would have received 77.5 rupees per year. So at 5% interest, interest you would have received 77.5 rupees per year. At 8% rate of interest you would have received uh, again 10% is 15 for 1, 1, 155. 1% is equal to 15.5. So 8% will be equal to then let's calculate. 1% is 15.5, 2% is 31, 4% will be 62 and 8% will be 124. So you have to see 124 rupees per year at 8%. So when you mix 70, say interest of 77.5, which was the one at 5%, with an interest of 124, which is the interest at 8%, you get an average interest of 300 over 3 years or 100 lower each year. So this is 24 and uh, 21.5. So the ratio of quantity is 24 is to 22.5 or which is nothing but 240 is to 225. 240 to 225 will be nothing but uh, uh, 15, yeah, 15, 15, that 225, 15 into 16. So that means the ratio of amounts at 5% and 2, 8% is nothing but 16 is to 15. So the ratio of 5% to 8% is 16 to 15, okay? Question of allegation should be done by allegation. Other methods are not incorrect, but they will be lengthy and time consuming. Since the percentages are not easy between 300 by 1550 or not how easy percentage, so instead of working on percentage, we work on the amount of interest. So look at the amount of interest per year and take it forward from this. Yeah, I just repeated, I know this can be a little Occasionally a little confusing, but but if the entire amount was lent at five percent per annum, then you would have earned seventy seven point five rupees. How do I calculate seventy seven point five rupees? Ten percent is equal to fifteen point one fifty five. Five percent is equal to half of that seventy seven point five. So you have earned seventy seven point five per year. If the entire amount was lent at eight percent per annum. You would have learned, you would have earned 124 rupees. Again, the same thing I have done 1% is equal to 15.5, 2% will be 31, 4% will be double of that 62, 8% double of that 60, 124. So, in a way, when you mix interest of 77.5 with interest of 124, the average interest which you receive is 300 over 3 years or 100 per year, or there is nothing but if you want to remove these zeros, this 240 is to 225. 
or which is nothing but 16 is to 15. Now this was at 5 percent, this was at 8 percent. That means the ratio of amounts at 5 percent to 8 percent are 16 is to 15. If the question was what was the amount length at 5 percent, the amount length at 5 percent will be 16, which is this number, divided by 21, which is nothing but 16 plus 15 into 1550. This is the amount at 5 percent. If the question was amount at 8 percent, it would have been 15 by 31 into 1550. So, so make sure you understand the concept of allegation. So, allegation is one of the few things which I will keep repeating and let me just go back here. So, so the first important concept that we have kept on, I have kept on harping upon the successive increments. Successive increments in the form of A into B equal to C. Here we can use the ratios also. Or we can say 10 into 10 equal to 100 and then make the corresponding changes. Second thing, I have said the successive or rather let me say. Second thing I am saying, successive increments is also compounding. Second thing which I am saying is allegation. Allegation is something that I will keep using regularly. Again, I will use it across areas. You will find it can be used in algebra, it can be used in time feed distance. Here we use allegation in in, in the in this concept of percentages. After all, wherever we mix two things, we can mix allegation, we are mixing. So you are mixing a 5% rate of interest with a 8% rate of interest to get some average rate of interest. The ratio of quantities can be determined. Thank you.